Sometimes we laugh and sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Baby. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your Becky Lynn, and we are back with another vlog. Um, I think this vlog is gonna come out like kind of late, but I just wanted to document my road trip. So um, I've, I've been in the U.S. for about five days. The first day was spent in the airport and traveling um, from my point of origin to where I am now, which is San Antonio, Texas. I came here to pick up my car, and I've been here for the last four days. Um, it is. 3:52 in the morning and i am about to hit the road to san diego to meet my fiance um that's not the final destination but that's where i'm going um and then we'll road trip to the final destination so i just wanted to pick up the camera and kind of open up the vlog i'll most likely be on my gopro the whole time um just because it's a little bit easier i can clamp it to the car and we can chat while we're rolling um but i wanted to at least open it up here so hey y'all good morning let's get on the road oh by the way it is an 18 hour trip so i'm breaking it up into two days the first day is going to be the longest day actually it's going to be 12 hours um i just decided to do that off the recommendation of my fiance because the, the place where i was going to stop he said there's absolutely nothing there it's not worth it he's like if i can push through and keep going it's still going to be early on the other side so I might as well just go um it's going to be like 12 or something but i'm going to be stopping for gas and stuff so um i've already packed my car with most of my bags i have a few more things here so i'm just gonna go get myself checked out of the hotel and into the car all right y'all it is 4 18 and we are about to go my gps says 12 hours and 23 minutes let's roll oh my gosh i don't know what this is gonna look like as far as recording because Dang, you know what? My main camera's in the back. I probably should have just brought it up front just in case. But whenever I stop, I'll just bring it up front. I'm rolling out of the parking lot now, the double tree. It took me forever to get the camera mounted, and I knew it was going to be dark. But I'm going to listen to music. That's going to be my first um, sort of entertainment. It's going to be R&B now. I was trying, I meant to Google to see if I can... Um, figure out how to like voice play a, um, a Kindle book because I used to do audibles for road trips but I just didn't feel like re um, renewing my subscription because it's just going to be for like these next two days so it's like do I need to renew a whole monthly subscription for two days so I was going to google and see if there was a way that Kindle could read my books to me but that's all right let's listen to music it's dark anyway so I'll hit y'all up when the sun comes up Hey y'all, as y'all can see, it's still very dark. Um, I don't even know. I feel like I gotta yell because the car is loud, but I'm at my 11 hour mark. So I've been driving now for an hour and 25 minutes. Um, it's doing pretty well. It's, it's so far, it's good because there's not a lot of traffic on the road. Um, but I'll just update you guys at the, I guess the 10 hour mark or whenever it gets light out. I think that it's not gonna get light soon because I'm driving toward the west and obviously the sun rises on the east. So um, I don't know what time it's actually gonna get light. Right now it is 5.37. So yeah, the time hasn't changed yet. So we're just rolling. Up and I am getting gas. So 
we are at the Sunoco. Hopefully, I'm close enough. Let's see. It is nine hours and 44 minutes. Oh, that's because I stopped. That just added more time. Damn, that's crazy. I added 15 minutes like that. But I'm at a quarter tank. Um, so let's go ahead and get gas. I can't tell. Oh, this has a tap reader. I've been using this damn um, Google tap, or not Google. Um, actually, I'm gonna take y'all down because I'm going to use the bathroom too. But I've been using the um, Apple Pay for everything. My bad, y'all. This a debit card, yes. Uh-oh, I think I might have used my, um, Hopefully you didn't use the Apple and you didn't use my credit card because I think I only got like $20 on Apple. Okay. I'm not used to having the options and um, on base there's only one option. <laughs> so it's kind of crazy to have options. Let's see what it's coming to. I, don't even, I think the gas was three sixty nine. So I think that gas is going down based off of what um, people were saying it was before. I don't know, but let's see what it comes up to. While we wait, I got a. Um, I mean, I'm not even that hungry, and I brought snacks. So I just I ate a banana when I was driving, and I ate some almonds while I was driving, and I also got like some semi healthy snacks from Target last night because I didn't want to eat food like off the road, and then also I ate. Um, uh, wing stop yesterday and so I, I bought 12 wings six bone in six bone out and I ate six so I got some lemon pepper and some Caribbean jerk left um so I put that in the front seat so the car is smelling like wings actually but we'll eat that last night I got gas but I had got like a half a tank and I think it was like um $30 this looks so pretty over here I don't even know if y'all be able to see it maybe wow it looks so pretty Okay, $24. Lots of stuff. Done. Do we want a receipt? No. I should have took my hand sanitizer out so it can be ready. I got some in my arm. Hold on, y'all. Oh my goodness, y'all. One thing about like traveling by myself is like, it's a little bit nerve wracking. I was walking into this, um, let me find my music real quick because it stopped playing earlier. Um, but yeah, I was, well, let me drive and tell y'all. <laughs> I was then, I went to use the bathroom and the bathroom kind of like goes toward like the back of the um, gas station or whatever. And this guy was like walking like directly behind me and like every move I made, he was walking behind me. And then he ended up like the bathroom. And so it's like the male bathroom, the female bathroom, and then like a little coat closet on the side or like a little like cleaning closet or something. And um, in the cleaning, as I'm walking toward the bathroom, he's like right behind me. So I stopped and he's like, go ahead, I'm not following you. And then he goes into the cleaning, cleaning closet. So then I wait a few minutes and then um, I'm like, you know what? Let me just go use the bathroom. Um, but then, like, I go in the bathroom, and before I like, I go into the stall, and I'm like, I'm gonna just wait a second just in case, so, so I can hear the bathroom door close. And it didn't close. So I'm like, what the hell? So I'm like, damn, is he holding the bathroom door? Um, but then I, I like walked up. Let me make sure. Yeah. Oh, it's back to 9:32. Okay, boom. So I, I walked back over and like the door stop had failed I guess when I opened the door I don't know that was so nerve-wracking so I like lift the door stop close the door and then I waited a few more minutes and I'm like okay I can just use the bathroom um but oh damn it I needed to go right there dang because I'm talking to y'all uh, let me see can I turn around maybe how much time is it added for me before I just say rerouting how much time is it adding because I'm about to turn around Maybe not a lot. I hope not. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm getting turned around, so let me go.
So when I say Apple Pay, I usually mean like my wallet. And when I use my wallet, it did go to my Apple Pay, which I only had $20 on my Apple Pay. So I was wondering like when the gas finished quick, I was like, oh dang, that was fast. Turn, now I'm looking at my gas tank and I, I still have three quarters of a tank I didn't fill up because I only used the money that was on the Apple Pay, I didn't use my credit card. So I'll have to stop sooner than later. Like basically instead of three hours, now my next stop is gonna be two. I gotta get on my A game because I got a lot of road tripping ahead of me. This is just the first leg of my road trip. I have a lot more to go. So I gotta get this down pat, like seriously. Expensive. It came up to thirty nine dollars. Um, from like that, from where I said I was. I need to pull out my hand sanitizer. Let me find that. But I do have the white ones, wet ones on deck. Shout out to T. That's definitely where I got it from. Making sure I always keep the wet ones available and ready. Let's find this hand sanitizer though. Oh, there it is. Boom. I do want to go inside and wash my fruit, but I'll do that at my next stop. I got some um, plums, but I forgot to wash them last night. So we'll have to do that on the next stop. Hand sanitizer will go here. So that way, as soon as I open the door, it'll be available. Get myself plugged back up so we can roll. It don't really matter um, how much time I take to be honest and I'm pretty sure I can't check in. Oh, I was using this. I'm pretty sure I can't check in until like three o'clock and right now my GPS says I'm gonna get there at 2.38. Um, by the time I make a couple more stops, it'll probably be like, um, probably like three. So I'm not in too much of a rush. Get our music going. Get my GPS going. Oh, I 
actually dumped my trash. Yeah, let me dump my little trash. The only thing I got in there is my um <laughs> my wings that I ate. The lemon pepper ones. Alright. The goal is not to have a mess by the time I get to San Diego. That is the goal. I don't know if we will do it. Alright, music, where you at? Where you at? Come on to five hours um i didn't talk to y'all at the six hour mark because i was on the phone with say um same thing at the five hour mark but we're at four hours and 52 minutes we are moving i'm about to call him back because it is making the time go by fast and it's keeping me up because i was getting so tired i was like oh my god i'm falling asleep i was like slapping my legs and everything um but if it ever gets to the point where i'm just so so tired i would stop um and that's what i was gonna do but then luckily say called so i was like oh good i can talk to him so I'm gonna call him back. Um, I haven't really shown too much more scenery because it's all the same. So if it starts to look different, then I'll start to record because I think that as I get closer to Tucson, which is where I'm stopping for tonight, there's like palm trees and stuff. So um, the scenery might look a little bit more desert-like um, versus like the mountains and stuff. But let me go ahead and call Stay back. We're rolling. We're doing the damn thing. You must be made for me. Patience is everything. In and out, in and out, in and out. Arguing, trifling, difficult. Baby, I don't know. Hey, y'all. Hey, hey, we are under three hours. Um, just under three hours, though, but we're rolling. I was initially going to stop in the city that I'm driving through now, or I've already driven through. It's really quick. A small little town called Deming, or Deming, I think. Um, because that would have been the exact halfway mark between here and San Diego, or between San Antonio and San Diego. But like I said, say it was like, it's no point in stopping there. And he's right, because honestly, it's 1230 right now. So if I would have stopped there, it just would have been like, okay, I definitely could have just kept driving. Um, so I'm going to just keep going. Like I said, I'm going to get to, um, to Tucson like three in the afternoon or a little bit under three in the afternoon. But so I'm in a way i could still keep driving but i do think that i'm gonna just go ahead and let my body rest check into the hotel oh i was about to say i might even go to the pool because it looked like they had a nice pool but i forgot i wore my swimsuit um 
I didn't tell y'all. So I did a um. So for those of you who are members, then you saw because there's a members only video where um, I basically um, took the members went with me while I was traveling through the airport, leaving Japan, and then um, getting to my first point of origin, then going to San Antonio. Then I was talking to them about how I spent my first days in San Antonio, stuff like that. So that's in the members only vlog. But I'll just tell you, I did go to a water park. So and I only pack one swimsuit with me. So the swimsuit is a uh, dirty. I need to wash it. So I was about to say I can go to the pool, but I guess I won't be doing that. But I might can go like poolside. Like I can put on some biker shorts and a little tank top and go poolside. Um, maybe. If it looks as nice as the pictures. Hopefully I didn't get, um, you know, fooled by the pictures. But honestly, I've just been on the phone with Sage this whole time. Just kind of talking, chit-chatting. It's so crazy that I'm going to see him tomorrow. Like he was like, oh, I'm going to need you to do my hair tomorrow. And I'm like, tomorrow? Yes! I'm excited y'all but let's just keep on driving let's just keep going every time I think about it, I get emotional so then I wonder like am I gonna be emotional when I see him <laughs> I, I don't know I don't want him looking at me crazy y'all but I'm excited nonetheless so um once again I'll talk to y'all a little bit later the scenery is a bit different here I think I showed y'all a little bit it's more like flat although there's mountains in the, the like the view that's pretty Sorry, I'm driving past this big old tanker truck. I wish I could show y'all. Uh, but there's mountains in like the far view, but mostly everything is like flat. Um, and I don't know how interesting it is to like see the road. I mean, I record some of it because I do know that I do have some subscribers that are still in Japan um, and that are Japanese and never seen like this part of America. So I don't know, maybe I'll record it, but I'm listening to a um, kind of like a podcast, like a YouTube reactor so let me go back to doing it. the restroom because I've just been drinking too much water well honestly not enough water I had what is this a liter it's almost done I mean I kind of I probably should have finished it but I got more water and they didn't have the kind that I like but this is the kind that um Sage drinks all the time he said it's pretty good so I'm gonna try it I'm actually just gonna pour it in my little um bottle so it can stay cold since I'm, I can finish the other bottle first but we are almost there we are making it is it gonna be? Oh. All right. My other water is from. Ah, too much. <laughs> think that the um windshield is too hot but i'm gonna finish out this last hour and i'll pick y'all up once i get to the room It's nice, but it kind of reminds me, it, it's like a, it kind of seems like a elevated motel, <laughs> um, which I'm not mad at it. Initially, um, I came in through like the hallway. I'm on the last door at the end of the hall, which I hate. I do not like being this far down. Um, it's just something about having to walk down that long hallway that freaks me out. So I don't like that. And then there's a door right here, which I thought it led to like outside completely, but apparently it's just the balcony. But that's why I said it's like an updated motel because I'm pretty sure that probably used to be the door to get in and out. And then they just kind of like closed it off and created balconies. I am not happy with where I'm at, but it's only for the night. Um, she told me that the area is fairly safe she said so, i don't know i might just order uber or probably try and go get some food right now and then i'm just gonna stay um stay inside completely um the only thing that sucks for me is like in the morning i'm probably gonna leave like early in the morning like i did today and so the parking lot is pretty open whereas the other hotel it was a garage 
Um, so I don't know, I just wanna make sure I get my things inside the car and get inside the car as soon as possible and go. I don't know why I'm like a little bit just like nervous, but let's see what they got to eat. Um, Charo Cafe, Mexican food, sushi ramen. Do we want that after we just left? Uh, ooh, Italian eatery featuring hearty pizzas. If they have Italian and they have, um, what do we call it? Chicken Parmesan, I'm gonna go with that because I love chicken Parmesan. I haven't had it in years. Yeah, I'm gonna check out this Italian place. What time does it open? Uh, today is Thursday, so 11 to 10. Okay. Yeah, I'll go there. It's a six minute drive away, so that's not terrible. Um, also, I wanna see if there's a mall nearby. Yeah, I just wanna see. All right, y'all, I'm back. I changed the world, so I'm happy about that. And I just really got food um, from an Italian place. So let's see what it looks like. Let's try it. I am so like, woozy and freaking tired. And it's only, oh, I'll watch that. I think, oh, 3.53. Like, I think it's like eight, almost eight o'clock in the morning in Japan. It is maybe six or seven in San Antonio. Oh, oh boy. I'm tired. Oh, please tell me. They did not give me a fork. Uh, I just wanna... Okay, it looks very, very good. I don't have a fork to eat it with. Like, why not? Why not put a fork in there? Let me show y'all. It looks really good, I'm not gonna lie. But now I gotta go be a pain in the ass after I just was a pain in the ass after the move rooms to now go ask for a fork. I hate this for me. <laughs> I'll pick y'all up when we're leaving tomorrow because at this point, I don't know. Update. <laughs> I found, I got a fork. And chicken parmesan, 10 out of 10. It's so good. I haven't had this in years. It's so good. So that makes up for everything. <clears throat> so now, honestly, my attitude is gone. Except I'm trying to eat this with sport. Um, but I am going to try my best to just chill. I'll probably edit this half of the vlog. And then, because I need to stay awake. <clears throat> and then um, I can just record the rest tomorrow when I'm driving to San Diego. <laughs> this is good. Like, I didn't expect it to be cheese. I asked for cheese on my bread, too. I probably won't eat both of these breads. It's a lot of cheese. Mm. I'm so satisfied. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good morning, guys. We are about to head out. I'm just getting my music and stuff set up. <laughs> yeah, I took an Advil PM last night. I slept all night. So after I um, hung up with y'all last time or like ended the, the clip, I was fighting to stay awake, like fighting and I lost. So around like 4.30 maybe, I was knocked out. But I set my alarm for seven to wake up so that I didn't like mess up my sleep schedule too much. So I woke up at seven, I started editing the vlog. It's looking really good. Um, I think this is gonna be enough to just be a full vlog by itself, which is good because again, I don't know if I'm gonna be recording when I'm with my family we just gotta wait and see um but <clears throat> I uh I was like you know what I gotta be able to go back to sleep so I took an Advil p.m at 8 and I made I forced myself to stay up until about 9 30 so then by like 9 30 10 o'clock I was knocked out and I woke up at 5 55 this morning which is a good number that's a good luck number um and I ate breakfast they gave us free breakfast here so it's now 6 40 um and I am about to hit the road I'm just looking for what I want to listen to to get going but we about to hit the road I got five hours and 48 minutes um let's see we'll do rap life oh Meg is on the couch on the ooh, Meg is on the cover of rap life that's dope so let's just play that all right, we rolling, y'all.
feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on this head, my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while, he can't control me. Who know those traits in a race, they can't hold me. And I show my face in a case, so you know it's me. Imitation is a flattery, it's just annoying me. And I'm too about it. And the dirt that they do on my name turn to soil and I grew up by it. So I've been on the phone with Dre for a while, uh, my homegirl Dre, hey girl. Um, so I am at four hours and 19 minutes. So this is like an odd check-in time, but I don't know if we're gonna get back on the phone. So I'm like, I just gotta tell y'all before um, it's too late. I'm on the road to San Diego from, um, from Tucson. So it's basically just like the desert. Like honestly, I, try, I think I showed y'all a little bit. Hopefully you're able to catch it as much as like, as I see it. It looks so pretty. Like I've I've driven cross country before, but I, I think I was on the top because I was coming from ODS, which is in um, in the northeast, and then I was coming from ODS in the northeast to San Diego. So I came from the top, but this time around I'm coming from the bottom, and I am like in the desert. This is kind of crazy and cool at the same time. It's like cacti everywhere, and like um, I see I saw sand. It's not as much sand right now. It's a little bit more green right here. But it's kind of crazy. I don't know. I'm also like, where's the gas station? I have a half a tank of gas, so I know I'm good. But I kind of want to fill up because, like, I don't want to be, like, stranded in the desert. Like, <laughs> no. But anyway, I'm just rolling. I wanted to um, check in with you guys. So I'll check in probably at the... Since it's 4 hours and 17 minutes right now, I'm going to just check in at the 3 hour mark just to kind of keep it back on the hour. Hopefully I'm not on the phone. driving through I didn't even like I had it on time warp at first so I'm like oh I'm about to just drive through this thing real quick that was so freaking scary I was praying y'all like oh my goodness Whew. I'm like God just get me out of these mountains just get me out oh my god I want to cry that was so scary <sighs> oh my god okay well I'm making it through California I guess I can show y'all that oh no that still say Arizona never mind oh my goodness y'all <laughs> my heart i am not built for stuff like this i mean i am i made it through god made we made it through thank you god i don't know if that was scary for y'all <laughs> that was scary as heck for me Whew. let me go that kind of cut messed up the time it's, it's only 250 or two hours and 52 minutes that i i only been driving for like 10 minutes Whew. okay bye 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 traffic 
oh my goodness so that kind of pushed my trip back by i don't even know how many minutes i can't remember what my um arrival time was initially but right now it's at 12 53. um so I'm, I, I bet say it's like expected me to be there within an hour but that was some stuff um i'll probably give you a little bit more of a view of where we're at now it's completely flat land the sun is shining but when i look in my rearview mirror i can see the storms behind me so i feel like in a way i'm trying to like beat the storms like i don't want them to catch up with me so i'm just trying to go because that was scary i don't want to deal with that again <laughs> at all but i'm just cruising like i say two oh now we're at one hour and 59 minutes so we're getting it I missed the um, update y'all, but I've been ripping and running as you can imagine, but I have made it to my destination. We are in San Diego, California. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys in the next one.